Hey there, Benjamin. What a lovely day it's been. How did your day go? Hello, William. You're right, the weather is fantastic. My day went pretty well, thank you. I was busy working on this project for school, you know, the science one. We are trying to build a model of a solar system. It's a lot of fun, but also quite challenging. That sounds interesting. I've always found space fascinating. My day was a bit less exciting, mostly studying and reading. I did have a good run at the park this morning, though. Running, huh? That's a great way to start the day. I should probably incorporate some morning exercise into my routine, too. Speaking of routines, Benjamin, there's something that's been on my mind lately. I've been having a bit of trouble making new friends at my new school. Oh, I see. That's not uncommon, William. It can be really tough when you're in a new place, with new faces all around. Tell me more about it. What seems to be the problem? Well, I try to talk to people, but it doesn't seem to go beyond just casual greetings. I'm not sure how to move forward from there. It just feels a bit awkward, you know? Absolutely, William. I've been there too. It can be really intimidating to try and form new friendships. But it's important to remember that it's okay to take things slow and it's totally normal to feel a bit out of place at first. You know, William, I had a similar experience when I moved here. I didn't know anyone in this city and making friends seemed like a big challenge. Really? How did you deal with it, Benjamin? I had to step out of my comfort zone. I remember feeling very similar to how you're feeling now. But then, I tried to be proactive. I started joining school clubs and community events, trying to find people with similar interests. That seems like a good approach. Was it difficult at first? How did you start the conversations? Of course, it was not easy. I remember feeling nervous. But I found that most people are much friendlier and more open than we assume. I usually started with simple questions or comments about the activity we were doing. You'd be surprised how a small talk can lead to great friendships. So, William, here's what I think might help you. Try to find some clubs or groups that align with your interests at school. It could be anything, a book club, a chess club, a sports team, whatever you enjoy. Hmm, that does make sense. I like reading, so maybe a book club would be a good start. But what if they already know each other well? I might feel left out. That's a valid concern, but remember everyone in the club had a first day. They were all new once. You could start by listening to the discussions, share your thoughts when you feel comfortable. Gradually, you'll find common ground with others. You're right, Benjamin. It's about taking that first step, isn't it? What about social events? 
How can I approach people there? Social events can be a great place to meet new people. My advice is to approach with a smile and a friendly greeting. If you find it hard to initiate the conversation, you can always comment on the event itself to break the ice. I understand what you're saying, Benjamin. But there's this fear I have. What if people reject me or judge me? What if I say something silly? William, it's perfectly normal to feel that way. We all fear rejection and judgment to some extent. But you should know that everyone makes mistakes, and that's how we learn and grow. Yes, I guess you're right. But rejection can be really tough to handle. I won't lie, rejection is not easy. But remember, not everyone you meet will become a close friend, and that's okay. You're looking for genuine friendships, and those often take time to build. If someone rejects you, it doesn't define your worth. It just means you weren't a good match, and that's fine. You should keep being you, be confident in who you are. You'll find the right friends. Thank you, Benjamin. I feel a bit better hearing that. I'll try to keep that in mind. How about we do a bit of role play, William? It might help you practice initiating conversation. What do you say? Role play? I've never tried that before for conversations. But I'm willing to give it a shot. How do we start? Great! Let's pretend we're at a book club meeting and we've just read the same book. You want to start a conversation. Go ahead. All right, um. Hello, Benjamin. I noticed you at our book club. How did you find the book we just read? That's a good start, William. You've initiated the conversation by asking an open-ended question. That's a great technique. One thing to remember is to sound natural and genuinely interested. Now let's try another scenario. Imagine we're at a community picnic. Okay. How about this? Hi, Benjamin. This is a great picnic, isn't it? Have you tried the apple pie at the dessert table? That's excellent, William. You started the conversation on a positive note, and food is always a good icebreaker. Just remember, practice makes perfect. The more you try, the easier it will get. Remember, William, it's about taking one step at a time. Don't rush yourself. It takes time to build genuine friendships. Yes, you're right, Benjamin. I shouldn't put too much pressure on myself. I really appreciate your advice and support. I'm glad I could help. And remember, everyone feels nervous when meeting new people. It's a part of being human. Let's meet up again after you've had a chance to put some of this into practice. I'd love to hear about your progress. 
That sounds like a good idea, Benjamin. I look forward to our next chat. Thank you, again. You're welcome, William. You're going to do great! I know it! Well, it's time for me to head home now, William. Good luck with everything, and remember, take it slow and be yourself. Thanks a lot for everything, Benjamin. I feel more prepared to face this challenge. Take care and see you soon. See you around, William. Don't forget, you're not alone in this. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Benjamin. Thank you once more. Have a good day.